They took the Taco Bell seafood salad away from us, but today we're bringing it back. Before Taco Bell is living moss, before they invented the technology to turn Doritos into taco shells, they were serving up seafood in 1986. Today, Trevor and I will attempt to bring the surf back to our turf and recreate the Taco Bell seafood salad, a tortilla bowl filled with shrimp, whitefish, crab, and all your favorite taco toppings. In 1962, a very popular fast food chain introduced the world to a square fish patty on a bun, and it became a hit. The popularity of the filet fish inspired Taco Bell to join the seafood craze. Taco Bell's commercials for the seafood salad were grand and splashy, marketing the salad as adventurous, tantalizing, and fresh. But the menu item didn't live up to the grandiose marketing as it was quickly removed from the menu due to several alleged cases of food poisoning. The Taco Bell seafood salad was taken away from us, but today, we're bringing it back. It's time for... That's not what we discussed. Why are you just going off script? Do it again and do it. <laughs> no, not, not that. Don't do that. Trevor, when I say Taco Bell, what's the first thing you think of? Tacos. That's right, fresh tender snow crab meat. <laughs> because that's what they put on their seafood salad, 1986. So they basically waited 24 years, like the Count of Monte Cristo, or did he kill the Count of Monte Cristo? I, I read the Spark Notes in high school waiting in prison to get their revenge. Filet-O fish comes out in 1962, McDonald's. Is their way to get into the Lenten universe, right? They're like, people, we gotta market ourselves to Catholics. They're not out there eating beef. You know, John F. Kennedy, first Catholic president. So they needed a Lent option. And so the first idea, Ray Kroc was like, put a piece of pineapple and some cheese on a bun. We'll call it the Hula Burger. And everyone's like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, Ray. You're a freaking idiot. And then they made the filet fish And so in 1986, 24 years later, Taco Bell goes, we're finally gonna get into the seafood market. And this is known as like one of the worst ever fast food items. And I'm excited to try it because I think we need more fast food shrimp in the world. Okay, so I don't, can you explain that all in Fortnite terms? Yeah, so you know, like, oh, okay, slurp juice, right? Yeah. So you get the slurp juice, you're like powering up, you're out there, you're like, bah, 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 bah. You're, you're build, you're, you're, you airdrop in to the game. Yeah, the, from the, the you airdrop. Yeah, from, yeah, from the, the Fort Chopper. Battle bus. Battle bus, <laughs> the battle bots. And then when you finally get there, so the slurp juice is like the filet fish yeah. in the sense that when you, you eat it, you, pay, you powered up your Catholicism. <laughs> <laughs> right? But then you gotta do the gwitty. <laughs> My knees hurt too much to even attempt it. All we got from Taco Bell is the tomatoes, which what the hell's going on with those? Those look like they've been fermenting for a couple weeks. We just got these from a Taco Bell recently. Uh, and the lettuce and the cheese. Mm -hmm. Now we have to make our own tender snow crab and fish blend. Okay. We're gonna figure that one out. The thing I'm most excited for is the olives. Cause Taco <laughs> Bell, they used to put two little slices of olives in all the enchiladas and then they got rid of those. And so now black olives back to Taco Bell. It's 80s. Reaganomics are booming. <laughs> you know, a lot of weird cults springing up all around yeah. the world. Om Shinrikyo, yeah. stuff like that, you know? Totally. Branch cool. Davidians were a glint in David Koresh's eye. <laughs> and people are out there sucking down shrimp at Taco Bell. <laughs> Bring it back from the past. We're bringing it back from the past. God, that felt good. Up top, bingo, bango. Josh, huh. have you heard of Good Mythical Evening? Yeah, I've heard of Good Mythical Because it's Whoa. back this year. And the theme is pain or pleasure, you decide. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what do you mean you decide? You decide. Because this year, there's gonna be a live voting system. Throughout the show, you're gonna be voting live on things that the stuff going on, who knows? You're gonna have to come come find out August 24th, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Tickets are on sale now, goodmythicalevening.com. So check it out, Josh. Um, we have some stuff here. The first one, you drenched me in olive oil and I went and fed Rhett and Link lube. The, the slogan at the time, 1986, right, was uh, the cure for the common meal, a reference to a, the cure for the common cold. The cure for the common meal. So uh, we're making surimi is okay. what we're saying. Yeah. We could have bought surimi from the store or artificial crab. It's also known as kani, but most of that doesn't have actual snow crab in it. And Taco Bell says in the commercial that it is a blend of snow crab and fish. Okay. Which is crazy. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it ourselves. We're just gonna throw a bunch of slop in a blender and we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, so we have a bunch of Pollock. Pollock is the fish that McDonald's makes their filet-o-fish from. 
Um, I don't know why it's so cheap. Does anyone know what a Pollock is? No. no. I didn't know that that was, if you told me, God, okay, how long has the fish been on the counter, you think? Like a couple hours? A couple hours. You told me a couple hours ago and said, what is a Pollock? I would not have guessed fish. Well, you didn't know it was a fish that existed at all. No, no, I wouldn't have known what that word meant. Oh, what, what would you have thought if I said, like, Trevor, we're gonna blend up some Pollock? Uh, I don't know. It sounds kind of like pollen, so maybe it's like a plant. <laughs> what, is po what is pollen? Can you explain to me what pollen is? Uh, it's like bee poop. <laughs> it's bee poop. So the idea is to make a fish paste, and then we're gonna layer that fish paste upon itself, and then we're gonna shred it up. Okay. Here, use the Mythical Kitchen. Get that crap out of here! That's useless! Use the new Mythical Kitchen spatula, now available at mythical.com. We came out with a line of cooking utensils, and they work. Check this out. Check it out. Holy effing S, dude. This is the effing gd best day ever. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, fiddlesticks. <laughs> they actually had a really crazy promotion that went along with this, where if you wrote the word help <laughs> on a piece, this is real, if you wrote the word help on a piece of paper, because you needed your common meal to be cured. Your common meal had infected your entire lymphatic system and you needed Taco Bell to cure it. So you'd write help on a piece of paper, bring it into a Taco Bell and they would give you a discount on it. You would write your own coupon. Just pick up a pencil and a piece of paper and write help. That's H-E-L-P, help. Rush that piece of paper down to Taco Bell no later than Sunday. We'll give you a delicious seafood salad for just $2.99. Uh, so if you were being like, you know, stuck up or held hostage and you needed to communicate silently and you wrote help, because you know, there's someone with a gun to your back, give it to Taco Bell cashier, they would merely hand you and the gunman shrimp. This is a lot of fish. The smell coming off of this is nice. It smells like crab. I mean, okay. it smells like artificial crab. Good. Which is good. I love artificial crab. I, I just like to eat the sticks by themselves. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice, guy. healthy snack. You yeah. get a little crab stick in there. Yeah, yeah. You know? My definition of a healthy snack is, it's changed over the years <laughs> to, to uh, not resemble health whatsoever. Do we have anything else we get to hit it with? Can I see that rolling pin? Yeah, yeah. That's good. No, smack it. You gotta smack it on a downward angle. You gotta smack it down. You gotta, no, you gotta, ah, ah, ta. Ah, ta. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, so we're gonna dye the outside of this right now. That's good, yeah, yeah add some yellow. We're adding red, we're adding yellow. Cause if you see artificial crab, crab meat has like a natural orange on the outside. Now that is from the crab's lycopaceous pigmentatiousness. Okay. And what that does, it, it makes it red, so that way uh, predators, mm -hmm. the Nashville hockey team, yeah, <laughs> uh, don't um, don't uh, see it as a predator. Yeah. Well, this looks like crab if I've ever seen it. This is looking like a good natural color, right? <laughs> when we steam it, it should get lighter because the color should kind of bleed out <laughs> into the white, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna mat it out. <laughs> God. It's not a good move. Oh my goodness, that looks we're like do, a, We're gonna fold it over. Like frosting. We gotta make it like a sandwich. <laughs> we gotta sand, cause we have to see, cause there's only red on the outer layer of the crabs. Yeah. Cause that's where they're most susceptible to predators. I feel like this is a good method. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? I trust the process, man, you know me. Right, it's nice and thin. Dude, if you think about it, dude, this is just like cake decorating. This is exact. it's like a, a fish-based cake. That's gonna be the new thing in the keto market. Fish cake, really? Fish-based cakes, but not a fish cake, oh. a fish cake. Fish cake, you know I what I mean? See, I see, I see. Okay, so now we're gonna spread this in the middle. Okay. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Now we're gonna sandwich this over itself. We're gonna fold it up and we're gonna steam it. We got the steamer going, that's why we're sweating so much. Oh, that's, sweating? I'm sweating so, I feel so hot. I feel so hot. I feel so, my back this hurts. I got this pain out. in my like left shoulder blade. Hell yeah. It's like really, I don't know, I'm getting old man. Just gotta seal this like a power. <laughs> we're folding it over, oh my God. And we're gonna wrap it. Okay, wrap it and splap it. Do you need more plastic wrap or are you chilling? I feel good about this, right? Okay, yeah. You're gonna put it in there, steamer basket. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I know, man, I don't know what happened. I, and I kind of messed it up. This crab's real red, but again, it's gonna get lighter when it cooks. And that's the good news about it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I say to thee, thine crops will be withered by the blight, and seven of thy nine sons will fall to the plague. Sir, you insult me, sir! I oh. challenge you to an honor duel! <laughs> that was an excerpt from Hamilton oh. by Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> Good play. Oh, I'm sorry, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, dude, we, that's, we, well, that's a big torch. I'm sorry, that kind of got a little bit of lash. Well, I'm eating, save this, okay. for, save this for me for lunch. 
Um, we need to make uh, the tostada shell. This is a, a thing that was really big in the 80s. People were like, we're gonna make a very healthy salad and then we're gonna deep fry the coverings of a burrito and serve the salad inside that. And so that's exactly what we're doing right now. Uh, we got a device, we bought it off of, uh, from a local store. <laughs> Your local mom and pop tostada shell frying utensil I store. I tried to buy Taco Bell on Amazon, <laughs> so I don't even know. Listen, I'm sorry, it's convenient. What? All right, so we're, hold on, no, no, let's back load this a little bit. It okay. It's very hot. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, oh, it does hurt. We should kind of, kind of mash it up. Yeah, oh, God, this, oh, cheese and rice. Okay, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna mash that in there, and then we're gonna try, and we gotta, oh, this is a giant pot of oil. So we're gonna, yeah, bring this over here. We're gonna gently submerge it. Like I'm gonna kind of spot you. Okay, I feel like a scientist. Yeah. Oh, there it is, there it is. <laughs> and then, yeah, tortilla's gonna kind of float up. We're gonna try and just like poke it back. Listen, there's probably a better way to do this. We just don't know it. And every time Trevor and I have had to deep fry tortillas on the show, somehow it just goes horribly wrong, despite the fact that I once owned chimichanga papa. Yeah, and despite the fact that we're also incredibly smart and talented. We are incredibly smart and talented. Some would say we're even. Some would say we're even. Wicked smart! Oh, it's going apart. Oh, it's oh going no, apart. oh no. <laughs> Yeah, this is going well though. You can see it's frying. It's just a slow process. I'm sorry it's not more entertaining. Hey, does someone want to like throw something at us? <laughs> you rotten tomato. Oh, I bet I could catch an olive in my mouth. There yeah, you go, yeah. I'm ready. Melt, entertain them. <laughs> Keep throwing olives though. I like that. All, <laughs> all of me. Oh, it's really cool. We almost kissed. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah! ah. <laughs> wait! 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 Slow mo! That, that bounced off of my head into his mouth. It came off with so much velocity that it hurt my tongue. It like flapped me in the tongue. That was the most incredible thing that's ever happened in the mythical kitchen. Oh my god! Can we go home? We I think that's home, right? the episode. Yeah, we're gutting. We're I think gutting. that's it. That'll fry itself. Hey, that we'll catch you Take next time. Cut to the packaging, we'll see you later. Sir, I said you had the manoeuvres. Oh God, right in the glasses. Oh, those tortillas are so heavy. That's what you experienced? Dude. <laughs> Double miracle. I think it's tortillas. Tortillas surely gotta be I'm done sorry, by now, right? Man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have hit you. Tortillas gotta be done by now. Yeah. Here, take that. Well, the great part is that it's gonna bowl for oil. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, now we just got a soup. Oh, oh it's, 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 it's fallen, it's fallen. That looks right, right? Dude, that's sick! Whoa, man, we're crushing it, we're excellent. All right, let's put this slop trough together. I, I, so I saw you doing that, and then I went down to do it, and as I scrunched down, I almost just farted. Just, just like, just <laughs> like, like wouldn't be Taco Bell without it. Pushed out of me. Um, <laughs> that's nice. We made food flubber, and that's pretty exciting. We got our surimi here, I'm gonna chop it up. Trevor, you wanna start assembling the salad? Yeah. I'm gonna do a little hacky hack on this. Okay, so I'm like, I'm gonna layer it, because in the blurry photos that I've seen from the 1980s. You wanna eat a little fish nugget with me? Yeah, man. Yeah, let's do it. It like, it doesn't, you know, shred like most surimi we've had, but it's, it, we, we got it. It's a big one. I'd like a small piece. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> well, we're putting this on the salad. Yeah, listen, do you think people were happy with their Taco Bell fish salad? I guess there's a reason why it's no. discontinued, huh? Every, every fast food, like Subway used to have the seafood delight, which is oh. like, hey, do you want some seafood <laughs> slop in your oat bread with sugar sauce? No, nobody did. Uh, Dude. I think you gotta just keep like hitting it with some of that. Do you want more? I'm gonna layer this, yeah. okay? This is getting freaky here. Because I realized, well, I, I don't think I filled it up enough, but I didn't wanna take stuff out, so I'm just putting more stuff on top. Yeah, yeah wait, hold on, you keep doing that. Okay. You keep doing that. What is he doing? No way he's drawing a diagram. He's got a marker and a piece of paper. Look out, everyone. <laughs> okay, give me three bucks. <laughs> I'm being held at gunpoint, you idiot! All right, so now we're gonna take bay shrimp, which yeah. um, this is very common in Scandinavian cuisine, little, little shrimp boppers you eat. I, oftentimes I wanna eat about 100 to 150 animals at a time, and bay shrimp can help you get there. This and sucks, dude. Yeah, this, what do you mean this sucks, dude? Of course this sucks. Nobody wanted this, that's why they discontinued it. 
It's known as like one of the worst fast food items of all time. Hmm. Add some shrimp around there, but wait, wait, what? we haven't even gotten the olives, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor, <laughs> Trevor, 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 hold fast. We haven't gotten the olives, buddy. The canned black olives are the best Pop thing. Pop in there. <laughs> in the They're dish. just gonna scatter some of the crab. <laughs> oh God! No! Oh God! No! No! Yeah, scatter some of the crab around there. I'm so Ooh, sad. It's so pink. It's this so pink. This is making me so sad. Yeah, this is the sad. Is this the worst fast food <laughs> item we've done to date? This might be the worst food we've ever cooked on the show. <laughs> no, man, we have some bad food. I don't know how many <laughs> olives we do. Get them, get them scallions on there, man. Yeah. There you go. Like, like what four? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna throw up. This is, yeah, this is I'm horrifying. We, no, we don't have to eat this. We get to eat it. <laughs> you know? And if, and you know what? If, if anything bad happens, we just hold the sign up and we get a discount. God. Okay. God dang it. They, they're they out there. They're taking swings. And you know what can save this, Trevor? What? If we cut, cut to the, the packaging. packaging. Gets to the nooks and crannies that you can't reach. Trevor, at long last, we have a fully formed Taco Bell seafood salad. Yeah. And now we don't have to eat it, <laughs> Trevor. We get to eat it. We get the opportunity to taste living history. Don't don't be don't be gentle on the sauce. I know it says mild, but we're gonna need all the help we can get. I need, I need this. To um, be it, it didn't come with dressing per se, but they did have taco sauce. And this uh, isn't. Do we have any more packets? We have to try it with. We'll have this on standby. Okay. I mean, it's just iceberg lettuce with a bunch <laughs> of like cold, pretty poor provenance seafood on here. Oh my god. But I'm open to it. This feels Swedish. <laughs> yeah. This feels like what a Swedish person would think Mexican food is. Like, oh, I've made tacos. <laughs> All right. Yeah, tramp. I didn't get any of the fish goo that we made. Here I don't. I can't tell. Yeah, you got an olive in there? <laughs> I got two, two brother. Brother. I got Come on, two. where's the scallion? We got six of them on there. <laughs> there we go. Wait, are we gonna get chip? Uh, and I feel like you have to eat it and then you gut it and then you eat the chip. Okay, well, cheers, boss. <laughs> I'm not mad about it, you know? <laughs> I'm not mad about it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, well. <laughs> <laughs> the fish paste, <laughs> the fish paste is the worst part. That's on us, that's on us. You know, the fish paste is the worst part, but I feel like if you use this as a vessel for hot sauce, I feel like it's pretty good. <laughs> Cause hear me out. Joker. Cheddar cheese and shrimp, that's a good combo. And one in every 12 bites, you get to eat a slice of olive and that's fun. I was so prepared to put this in my mouth and want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? This is just scientific proof that you drench anything in enough hot sauce and it just tastes good. That's Taco Bell though, that's their business model. It's good. No. Um, It's weird because there's like not that much cheese on here, but somehow everything has turned cheddar cheese flavored. You eat a shrimp, boom, cheddar shrimp. You eat the fish base, boom, that's cheese fish. You know, it's, it's pretty pleasant. How bad are we gonna poop our pants later? Do you think Taco Bell should bring this back from the past and actually serve it today? No, God, no. Absolutely not. No. Right? No, the world has not been kind to fast food seafood, which again, I hate because it turns me on, you know, twirls my beanie a little bit, you know, gets my bilges pumping, if you know what I mean. I'm just so mad because I really like, I, this is, I wanted to die. Uh -huh. yeah, Before this, we ate mm. this, looking at it, I wanted to die. I was like, I don't want to eat this. I don't want to put it in my mouth. And I ate it and I didn't hate it. And so now I just like, I hate myself now because I had to hate either this or myself and I don't hate this. So now I hate myself. With that said, if you want Taco Bell to bring it back, tweet at Taco Bell, say, bring back the seafood salad. And they'll be like, what the hell are you talking about? And you'll say, I want, I have a bad case of the common meal and I need, and you need to cure it <laughs> with the seafood salad. Um, overall, though, I had a fun time. Yeah, you know, we like that funnier. Come on, we, we like that hot funnier. sauce. We drink a little drink. Yeah, we drink a little drink. You I know? tell you what, bring this design back because okay, this cup is sick. That's sick. It's a cool cup. And Trevor, you ma 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 makes me happy. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes out every week. Ooh, well, that's us. We got new episodes of our <laughs> podcast whenever. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, do all that jazz. 
go support your local family-owned Taco Bell. And get tickets to Good Mythical Evening, goodmythicalevening.com. See you all next time. Tickets for this year's Good Mythical Evening are on sale now. Go to goodmythicalevening.com for tickets and more info. And tune in August 24th to see Rhett and Link's Night of Pain or Pleasure, decided on by your vote.